A woman in Glasgow has asked for her money back from a psychic because she wasn't impressed with the reading that she got. 19-year-old uh, uh, Neem Gargan, she, she, played, uh, she paid £10 for a psychic to give her a reading over Facebook. Um, and the psychic told her she was into beauty and hair, loves a natural, uh, natural tan and whitens her teeth. Um, the psychic also told her that she was going to fall pregnant soon which she was informed, I, I can't actually have children. Um, she was also told that she'd been through a bad past and that she was always bored. Um, and basically, when she asked for, for the lady asked for her money back, the psychic refused. Do you think she's got a fair point? Well, I mean, if she was looking at her on Facebook and she could see her teeth in exactly. her tan... <laughs> um, yeah, of course. But, I mean, I think if you're going to pay £10 for a psychic on Facebook, you're probably a wee bit silly. Oh, we never know. Do There's all sorts of different psychic? ways that people no. can... I mean, no, but unfortunately, I've got a family of them that do. And, you know, when I was still living at home, my mum and my sisters were always having people round to cleanse the house. You know, she'd come in and there'd be herbs burning. And, and then one day we had a woman that came to help us all with the evil eye that may be looking upon us, which was fine, but we yeah. all had to pee in a bucket and then pour it on the doorstep. <laughs> You weed in a bucket and put it on your front Well, door. I need to shut them up, but the thing is, they believed in it. <laughs> they really believed in it. Yeah, and so, if you believe something, yeah. sometimes it happens. Do you believe in psychic? Well, I didn't really, but um, I worked with Russell Grant on Strictly, and he said, I'll come for a reading, and he does all the tarot. So I went to see him, and we had a lovely afternoon, and he did all my tarot cards. And I have to say, 18 months after the fact, everything he said, the detail was so on point. He is amazing. And you see him on telly and he's very kind of bubbly and you think, oh, how much of it is real? I have to say, it was the best thing. He told me to go to America. He said I was going to... I got well, a job. A big, yeah, no, but that's not me, exactly... It's quite told, Well, no, he also told me that my boyfriend was cheating on me. Oh, yeah. Because oh. he said, have you got some questions? And I always think, you but know... But that's happened before, Kelly, though, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think, I think you instinctively know things. And so when you're asking the questions, you're kind of questioning your own, like, instinct in a yeah. way. Do you know what I mean? So I think yeah, if, yeah. if you're already so you asking think, the question, you, think... you, I think we're all kind of a yeah. bit psychic. Yeah. I really do. Well, maybe, I think you've got to listen but, to or maybe it. when a psychic like picks up on a question like yourself, you're feeling that you ask the question, yeah. and maybe they pick up on that actually. Because usually, if you're asking, you know, don't you? Yeah, I think so. So he was brilliant, but also I went to like um. I was going through a bit of a like rough time and I thought, right, my friend recommended the shaman healer and she said, go to this woman. She's amazing. She'll clean all your chakras. She'll get all your energy flowing. And she was brilliant. She blew on my belly. She blew raspberries on my belly. And she said, <laughs> she went, did you have to pay her? Like this on my right, belly. I was going to laugh. I was going to sneer, yeah. but I'm holding these potatoes because of an incident that happened in my childhood. I'm kind of with Nadia on this one because my mother read the tea leaves every uh, Sunday. We'd have tea, and then she'd read her tea leaves, never bother with the rest of us, predicting <laughs> what was happening in the week ahead. But also, if we had a wart or anything on our hands, mm -hmm. like you do get them when you're a child, she'd cut a potato in half, rub it on the bit of your hand, do a yeah. Welsh spell, which was all blah, 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 gobbledygook, <laughs> as far as I could make out, then bury the potato in the garden and tie a rag round your Johnny, hand. Johnny, are you OK? <laughs> <laughs> A week later... Because I think people are going to be thinking that. A week later, after you had gone to school every day with a filthy rag on your hand, and people kept going, what's going on? Oh, my mother's at it again. <laughs> then she'd go, I'm going to dig up the potato. Of course, she couldn't find it. And then she'd go, and now the wart will have gone. And she'd I'll rip off... I reiterate, Janet, are you OK? <laughs> <laughs> she'd rip the she rag off, and the wart would have gone. Oh. It was magic. Oh, there you go. Oh. You had it. Oh, right. away a week, and you completely... What's happening? I know, it's been in the new studio. It's gone to my head, and I'm <laughs> holding, holding potatoes. Apparently, you, you can cleanse chakras. And yeah. so, obviously, we are all purity itself, aren't we, sitting here? So we yeah. thought, if Janet I've is going to... I've got a mucky chakra. <laughs> <laughs> you can cleanse auras, I've, can't you? I, oh, cleanse auras. Uh, yeah, auras. Yeah, auras. I have had my aura cleansed. Ooh. Obviously, it didn't work. Did you need a refund? <laughs> aura cleanse. My friend Lynn Franks, who was the inspiration of uh, Absolutely Fabulous, I went round to her house for Sunday lunch one day and she was stark naked in her bedroom with a woman going round like this. I went, Lynn, what's up? Lunch is ready, the meat's overcooking. She went, I'm having my aura cleansed. <laughs> anyway, to my astonishment, 
I took my kit off. The woman came round to my house the next day. I took all my clothes off. And this woman... <laughs> start went, naked. I'm start naked and she's cleansing my aura. Removing <laughs> all my negative thoughts. Clearly, you should have asked for your money back. <laughs> <laughs>